Good morning, first grade friends. Happy Friday. Today is lesson 91. And yesterday we talked about OI, which is diphthong OI and diphthong OY. And so today we're going to practice spelling with those diphthongs. They make the same sound, and so it can be confusing sometimes to figure out if you should use OI and OY. And so the spelling response for the sound OI we talked about is diphthong OI, final diphthong OY. And what does this tell us? When is diphthong OI used? when it's in the initial and medial position. So if it's the first sound or a middle sound. And when is diphthong OY used? In the final position, if OY is at the end of a word. And so if we want to spell a sound with the OI sound and we don't remember if it's OI or OY, our best chance is to use OI in the initial and medial position and OY at the end. And so I have a few words on my board and I left out the OI sound and together we're going to figure out how to spell OI in these words. Okay, so if I want to spell the OI sound in this word, how should I spell it? With OI or OY? Oh, why? And why is that? Why did you say, oh, why? It's at the end. It's in the final position. So this word is enjoy, and we use diphthong, oh, why? Okay, let's try the next one. I want the blank to say, oi. Should I use, oh, I or, oh, why to finish spelling the word? Oi is in the medial position. It's in the middle. So we're going to use diphthong OI. Can you try to read this word? This word is broil. Broil. Very good. Let's see if I can trick you. Look at the next word. We want oi to be in the blank. What spelling should we use for oi? OI or OY? It's in the medial position, so we're going to use O-I. Very good. What do you notice at the end of this word? Right, a suffix. So the root word says spoil, and we have E-D at the end, so the whole word is spoiled. Spoiled. Is the O-I sound still in the medial position, even if we took off the suffix? Yes, it is because there is an L at the end. Okay, very good. So we have one more word. We want it to say OI. Should I use OI or OY? What do you notice at the end of this word? Suffix ING. So I'm going to put a blank or a box around it. And right now we're going to pretend it's not even there. So for the root word, oi is at the end. So how should we spell oi if it's at the end of the word? Right, oi. So the root word is annoy. And when we add suffix ing, this word is annoying. Annoying, very good. There is one word that I can think of that does not follow the rules, and this word is royal. This doesn't follow the rules because that diphthong O-Y is in the middle of the word, not at the end. So this word does not follow the rule. On today's worksheet and homework, we are going to continue practicing with words like this.